The Jesus of John's gospel is captivating. When I read of how he would command the attention of a crowd, I am struck by the way he always knew what he was doing. His love was unceasing, but so was the world's hateful rejection of him. John's eighth chapter records an occasion when Jesus spoke in the temple and pleaded with the Pharisees to walk in God's light. In response, the crowd mocked him and called him a liar. That is when he sent them over the edge. He referred to the God of heaven as his father, as if he knew him personally and completely. No one, not even the prophet, spoke of God in this way. But Jesus did this purposefully. He was always in complete control. Every time I think of this text, it makes me smile. I find in it one of the most astounding truths any person could ever know. The God of heaven, who is all-powerful, who has created everything, can be known. In fact, he wants me to know him and refer to him as my Father, too. To reveal the heart and mind of the Father is the reason that Jesus came. What Jesus said should have filled the Pharisees with hope and joy. Instead, it brought out their rage. To believe him would mean everything they thought they knew about God was wrong. They wanted to arrest him, but Jesus' heavenly Father protected him from their threat. John explains, the hour had not yet come. It wouldn't be long before the hour did come. When I read of how Jesus' broken and bleeding body gave up his spirit, I wonder how his all-seeing Father responded to the horror of the cross. Had God's love reached the limit of its power? Or in an all-surpassing way, was it being displayed to its fullest expression? I guess I'll have to keep reading to find out.